I remember years ago I did this video for you guys on how to do a solid surface countertop which you guys really liked and I got a really good comments on it uh, and I promised you that when I got around to doing a kitchen with a coved backsplash that I would film it because that one I was doing a log cabin kind of remotely and I didn't have my coving router with me but I'm at my house and I'm doing my rental apartment kitchen right here it's just a little kitchen and I just wanted to cove it uh, so coving means I'm going to actually glue this backsplash to the back and router the whole thing and it's going to look like a one-piece deal and that's the beauty of working with solid surface is it's one of the few materials that you can do this with so the first thing I'm going to do is I cut a one inch strip out of the material it's actually a smidget bigger than one inch just to give me a little bit of lee room because I just certainly don't want to be short <laughs> so I've got these ready now you could glue all this up at the same time but I'm not going to do that because when you glue it the things are really wiggly and they move so I'm going to glue the one inch strip first then I'm going to do the splash so let's get going you want to make sure that this is scratched up really nice with some uh, 80 grit so that it sticks and then do your strips as well I'm just going to do the one side right now the side that I'm going to glue down okay so take some denatured alcohol put it in a spray bottle and that will remove all the dust and pencil marks just soak it down you want a good surface I'm actually working with a product called Staron which is kind of a Korean manufacturer and this is more of a green I think it's forest forest green because I was going for that tropical look you know because we're in, I'm in Florida right now and it's sunny and it, it's probably in the 80s and uh, it's like the beginning of February <laughs> so, get all this ready put the tip on okay so now we're ready put the glue down I like to just do one that okay now when you do this do it it's it moves around so go you can go up or down to push it whichever direction you want to go I kind of go at an angle that way they don't move around a little bit so. see I can go up or down to try to pull it to one way or another because it, it does want to move When I'm doing the cove, I actually don't want any of this glue in here. So, it's just going to save you a ton of sanding if you do it right now. Get the glue out of there. Let's do this one. What I like to do is go short, put it down, and then squish it into the corner and push all that glue like up. Boom, like that and these clamps I kind of I kind of roll it so that it pushes it in because if you do it this way it'll pull it away But make sure it's straight because when you're doing a cove backsplash and we're going to glue that backsplash you know you don't want to go in like this right you want a perfectly straight line so you want to make everything as straight before you even start this okay while the glue is drying 
I'm going to cut some 4x4 four four blocks and I'll show you why later. 4 inches. about there uh, it's pretty deep yeah that, sh that should work so the main thing I want is I want to make sure that this clamp can go in there I think I'm gonna go a little bit wider Five them all. Turn that to 45. Okay, so they look like that. Now that that's dry, same thing. Scratch it up. Same thing. Clean it all with the denatured alcohol. how I like to do it. I mean, you can freehand this and try to line it up, but once you get the glue on, this thing likes to move around. And I just like to put these little blocks right here just to make sure that I can put it down straight and it doesn't shift and move on me. Especially when you're doing a big long run. This one isn't so bad. I could probably handle it. But I'm just going to show you how I like to do this. I'm going to put this... Uh, I like to just take a piece of scrap so I can get the spacing just right. So line it up the way you want it. Put the hot glue down just to hot glue it right there. And once you got that right where you want it, okay. And you're, you're also making sure that it's perfectly straight up and down because you could go like this, you could go like that. This is going to make sure that when I do it, it perfectly lined up with the back and that it's straight up and down. Let's just do three. Right there. Okay. Three on there and I'll do three here. That's fine. Don't forget we have a corner piece going right here. <laughs> Another one inch corner piece. See, had I not had these there, the glue probably would have just, I would have smeared it all over the place. Another reason that people get the solid surface is the integral bowl. See how there's no seam? It's glued in there. No silicone. It's all one piece, glued in. 
And you do need that one one inch piece right here so that we can cove that. And I have it, I have it ended right here because it goes around a door jam. While this is setting up, let's hook, get our router ready. This is a specialty router. It is a porter cable, but it, it, it's designed, it has a, a half inch coving bit. It's kind of a round bit there on the end. And then it has some Teflon, so it'll slide real easy. So that we can put a rounded cove right here. So it's just gonna swoop up this backsplash. But we need to test it. I haven't really messed with this, but we want to test it on a piece of scrap before we put it on the top of this new one because if our bit isn't adjusted right, it'll just dig right into it, the piece. So we want to make sure that it's not rubbing, and that we're right on it. Not too high, but certainly not too low. This is the only thing I use this. This is a specialty router. I don't use the router for anything else, so I pretty much already set it up. But uh, it's been a while. So let's just make sure that we're not going to dig in. That should work nicely. Okay, break out the hot glue gun because we need something in the corner. The truth is 99% of the people who, who get solid surface countertops in their house don't get it with the Cove Backsplash. The, the main reason is because it's kind of expensive and you're paying like, I don't know, 10, $15 an inch. And then that can add up on a big kitchen. But uh, that's why you get this because you, you can do this. It's one piece. I'm gonna start here in the corner. And I like to stand on this side because if I stand, <laughs> Because if I stand right here, I'm reaching too far and I have zero control. So I'm going to start here in the corner. Alright, now to the finish. Hard router or backsplash. This is a three and a quarter horsepower. I recommend wearing earmuffs because you will go partially deaf if you do this a lot. I'm going to start out out here and then I'm going to bring it in slow because I don't want to gouge anything. I want to do it nice and slow. You can see I already did the, the end right here. It looks nice. So the, the router bit is perfect. Look nice. <laughs> okay, so this is where we are so far. Got the cove. Test it. And this is the mess. The bus has seen snow before. <laughs> we got a couple hours worth of sanding to go. <laughs> I like to take a block with a quarter inch round on it and just put some sandpaper on it. 
and that way it is the same shape as the corner and you can straighten it. Next is the sandpaper. I have 120 and then I'm going to go down to 220 and then 320 for the finish. And that's the 320. Now, take a Scotch Bright. I got a gray Scotch Bright. And shine it up. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, hopefully this is going to be a one time shot. Just put down the silicone, bring it in. Just little dabs right here. This is where the sink is, so I like to make sure we're floating pretty good. It's gonna be heavy, you guys, because we got the bowl in it. Oh boy. And with the backsplash on it, and we're gonna have to go with the bowl, we're gonna have to go high and almost straight down. It's can't put the faucet in until tomorrow because it's just going to slip and slide. Until that silicone sets up, we're done. Here you go. 